I have a new goal in life, and it's to get you to read Mind Management by Matt Kind. Hello, book people. P.T. Hilton here. I'm here today, as I said, to talk to you about Mind Management by Matt Kind. Uh, this is a book that I was um, had been thinking about trying for a while. I like Matt Kind a lot. Uh, I like his writing on um, a few other works. Um, he does a lot of writing for Valiant, and I like Valiant a lot. So I thought I'd try this, which is the series that uh, I believe it's creator-owned. It's one that he writes and draws. Yeah, it says writ created, written, and illustrated by Matt Kind. So he does it all, which in and of itself is pretty impressive considering the number of books he writes. He writes like at least like three or four other books a month, and he writes and draws this. That's uh, pretty impressive. I switched to the other side to not block the sun. Mind management starts with the story of an airline flight where everyone suddenly loses their memory. They don't know who they are. They don't know um, what they're doing there, how they got on the plane, anything like that. Understandably, everyone's kind of freaking out a little bit and uh, very worrisome. The pilots also no longer remember how to fly the plane. Then the main story picks up two years after that. And uh, our main character is Maru who you'll see here. Maru is a author who wrote a best-selling true crime uh, book uh, two years ago, but since then hasn't been able to write anything. She hasn't come up with her new idea. She sees a piece on TV about the two-year anniversary of this mysterious flight, and um, the remaining mystery, which is that, uh, first of all, these people never regain their memories. Still nobody knows what happened. And also there's one person on the flight who just disappeared and no one knows what happened to that person. So she has the idea that she's going to write her next book about this flight. She's going to try to track down that missing person, figure out what happened on this flight. And the remainder of the book is her basically trying to do that. And I'm not going to give away too much of the story, but let's just say she comes into contact with this organization called Mind Management, and um, things get very, very interesting for Maru pretty quickly as she travels the world. That's the story in a nutshell, um, but what I really love about it is the way that, first of all, it plays with this idea of this mind management and what if there was were people who could uh, do mind control, how scary that idea would be. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like The Magicians, which I talked about a couple weeks ago, in that that kind of plays with the idea of how scary would it be if there really were magic in the world and, that, and we were teaching like teenagers to do it. Uh, that would be scary. It also reminded me a little bit of Lexicon by Max Berry, which is this kind of a similar um, mind control type situation, but the tone reminded me a little bit of both The Magicians and Lexicon. This uh, book, I also want to talk about the way this is as a just a physical book, a physical object. This is a really nice hardcover. It's only 1995 is what it retails at. 1999 US, 2199 in Canada. Sorry, Canadians. You have to pay two Canadian dollars more. I don't know. I don't know what the exchange rate is. That might be the same. Who knows? Anyway, I want to talk about this as a physical object because it's a very beautifully put together book and uh, it plays with the form of comic books in an interesting way. Much like something like House of Leaves plays with the form of the novel, with the footnotes and the different crazy things that happen with the, the form in that, this kind of does some sort of similar things with uh, the comic book form. First of all, the artwork is just beautiful. This I want to say it's watercolors. I'm not like a big art medium guy, but it looks to me like watercolors. And a very beautiful art style um, by Matt Kind. Um, is a physical object. It's pretty cool. The like, I don't think this is going to really show up, but there's a lot of like kind of um, things on the cover that if you turn it just the right way, you can read it, and otherwise you can't. Like on the back here, it says, um, there's this cool picture with this guy's face scratched out. It says, who is Henry Lime? I think that's showing up. And it also up here says mind management, if you hold it the right way. So there's some cool stuff like that. But what's really cool is the interior of the book. Yeah, let's go to this page. Okay, so at the top of the page... I know you can't read that text, but at the top of the page, at every page, there's a little blue text that says, it's the same on every page, it says, when filing a report, all essential details must fall within this solid live area box. This is the border for a standard non-bleed field report. So it says that on the top of every page, but then on the side, it's also got text. And that's different on every page. And that is um, excerpts from the mind management field guide so it's like tips for agents of this mind man management organization in the field and uh, what he does with that is really interesting some of the time it's funny some of the time it's um it's ironic some of the time it's fascinating but that's different on every page and a lot of times what it says on the side kind of like reflects on what's happening on the page um, like this one says get in the habit of checking dark channels 
between normal television broadcast channels on a regular basis for updates and changes to mission, mission objectives. Um, while on this page, um, our character Maru is watching the news report on TV about this airline flight. So there's always like little connections like that. And um, I'm not going to say too much more about those, those things on the side, but that was part of what made this book kind of trippy to read, honestly, was that like all these weird things on the side that kind of relate to the story and kind of don't. And you're like, am I even supposed to be reading this or is this just like kind of a decorated, decorative feature or is this going to like reveal something that I'm supposed to understand about the plot? I didn't know the answer to that question for a long time. And that's part of what makes this book so fun. Again, I just want to give a shout out to the beautiful kind of watercolor artwork. Great stuff. So. I'm going to be ringing the bell of mind management um, because I think it's it's such a great series and um, maybe a little bit under read. At least I haven't seen a whole bunch of people talking about it. So uh, mind management by Matt Kind. Again, it's beautiful hardcover, 20 bucks full if you pay the full retail price. I give it a high recommendation. Check it out.